Hey, St. John's family, it's Pastor Brady. This is Friday, May 8th, 2020. And I just wanted to bring you some updates and announcements as we head into this Mother's Day weekend together. Of course, Mother's Day will be different this year. Uh, we won't be having in-person church service. Um, there probably won't be those family gatherings and, and lunches that everyone looks forward to. But we got to make sure that we celebrate our mothers and all women of faith um, this weekend and especially connect with those women of faith, even though we can't see them in person. So just a few announcements as we as we start this weekend together. Um, a reminder that there will be our second Zoom call during COVID-19 and that Zoom call will be uh, tomorrow on Saturday, May 9th at 5 o'clock in the evening. Um, you should have got a link in the church email with the password so you can log on to Zoom and, and so we can share a time together um, seeing one another. Um, it was wonderful that we were able to have a time of prayer on the National Day of Prayer yesterday um, as we social distanced but still were able to form a circle outside the church in the churchyard and along the street and uh, we were able to pray together unto the Lord for healing um, for our nation, for unity, and of course for revival for Christ's church as well. And I just wanted to bring to you some of the celebration days that are coming up this week, the birthdays. Um, we are reminded that today uh, we have two birthdays, Mary S. and Margie B. have a birthday. And then uh, William D. has a birthday on Sunday. On Monday of this coming week, um, Bill H. has a birthday. Vanessa J. and um, Dr. Uh, J. Albert E. Um, has a big birthday. Um, it's 100th birthday, and, and uh, you should have gotten an email message about sending cards. Um, so for Dr. E.'s birthday, make sure you send a card. Um, on the 12th, um, Andy W. has a birthday. On the 13th, uh, Kate F. has a birthday. And on the 14th, um, Pam E. and Cheryl S. have birthdays. So uh, let us celebrate um, all those birthdays this week. You know I don't say the last names, but many of you probably know who they are. Uh, check your newsletter list, uh, send cards, and connect to our uh, church family as we celebrate their birthdays throughout the week. I will remind you that you should have gotten an email um, with our worship resources for this Sunday. And you either got that via email or you can also view the, uh, the hymns on Facebook. Um, if you could print those off or view them from a different device while you watch the worship service, that way you can sing along um, as Ruth brings us music, Ruth and Sherm bring us music um, on this Sunday. Um, also, um, be mindful of the emails that come out throughout the week. There are many informative emails of things that are going on at the church, prayer concerns. Uh, we know we lost uh, Merle D. Uh, this week, and uh, we will be having his uh, celebration of life service uh, tomorrow at the funeral uh, and in the f at the funeral home. And in the future, hopefully we're able to have a, uh, a way for our church when we come back together to celebrate his life as well, but most importantly, pray for his family during this time. And all the other prayer concerns that have gone out during the week, uh, we need to be mindful of them. We need to continue to pray for one another. Let the church office know of any prayer concerns. Um, uh, let us know of anything that might be going on um, as we are here throughout the week as well. So I just hope you all have a very blessed weekend, and we especially show appreciation and love to all women of faith on this Mother's Day weekend. God bless you all.